Well, green flags got underway. Goethe got off the line. Mason along with him, but this big moment happened. Goethe cutting across, trying to make sure of his line did actually manage to make contact with Josh Mason. Front wing buckled on that car. Christian Mansell did challenge him in towards turn one. The Aussie not quite getting enough, though, in order to usurp him. It was Simonazzi, though, who was dueling it out with none other than Freddie Lubin, looking for that third spot, and he managed to achieve that. Mansell and Simonazzi would come together once again, only this time Simonazzi managing to get his nose in front this time around turn two, and he then took second place in the race classification. We then saw Ayet and Simmons with a lovely move at Lakea Bend, leaving it late, trying to challenge that of Freddie Lubin as they made their way out. Simmons uh, did an absolutely gargantuan job to try and hang it around the inside and hold on to that fourth spot. Oliver Goethe, though, heading through the final chicane, a confidence of a young man that knew that it was coming all along, rounding the New Holland corner. He would take victory here at Spain in the Euro Formula Open and also claim its world championship as well, much to the delight of the motor park garage.